What's up guys, Leslie Robbins here for Young Hollywood back at the Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach where I am bringing you up close and personal with your favorite IndyCar drivers. James Hinchcliffe, welcome to our Young Hollywood set. I love it. You're back in Long Beach. How's it feel? It feels great. I mean, this, this event's always one of my favorites. You know, I've uh, been coming here since 2006 in the junior categories, and I've had a lot of firsts here. I mean, my first uh, Indy Lights win was here, uh, my first IndyCar Top 5, my first IndyCar Podium. So uh, it'd be it'd be nice to try and get, uh, get a W to add to, uh, to all those other things that Long Beach has done well for me. Mr. Scott Dixon, one of the greatest IndyCar drivers of all time. And I know you're humble and you'll say no. Four championships, Indy 500 win in 2008. Can you brag a little bit, please? I uh, I, I just feel very lucky. I love racing, and and uh, you know I was very lucky to, to get the chance to race for for this great team uh, with Chip Ganassi and obviously NTT Data this weekend. But um, I don't know. I wake up every day very thankful for what I do. What's with you not putting out your trophies? You have probably like how many under a thousand, just under a thousand maybe. And yeah. They're all hidden away in a basement. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I just. I feel like it's clutter, you know. So I don't, I don't want it Wait, out there. You think it's clutter? Yeah, I, I like. I'm very minimalistic, so I don't like. Uh, you know, I think if there was a bunch of trophies, you know, one you got to probably clean them, right. and two, uh, I think it would, it would clutter the house. Marco Andretti, a man who needs no introduction. Well, oh, that's nice of you. These tracks are home for you. Come on. Um, yeah, I mean, there's there's a ton of history here in general at Long Beach, but with our family, it's um, it's unbelievable. I mean, my grandfather has won here numerous times. My father won his first and his last race of his career here, so very special to our family. Um, and what an event! I mean, I love coming here. I love driving here. Uh, love the fans. Love the weather. So everything about it. So not only did you win the Indy 500 last year, you came in third. That's, I mean, really, you couldn't kick his butt. I tried, I tried, we all tried. We all tried to beat Alex in the race. So you won it once, do you have to do it again, or? That's the plan, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, it's such an unbelievable experience post Indy 500 for the year that, that really follows it. Um, and you kind of don't want anyone else to have that, so. It's a very selfish desire, but yeah, we're going to win it again. And Elio did it in 01 and 02, so there's no reason why we can't do it. I saw you rode in on a motorcycle. I did ride on a motorcycle. Kind of. It's a baby motorcycle. Now, I don't want to ride it. Okay. Can I test it out? Can I sit on it? You can sit on it. Yeah. You want to sit on it? I, I would love to. All right, so kind of stand it up straight. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, bad boy's heavy. I'm going to pull you back a little bit. All right, I'll be here. All right, so here, put your put your feet up on the pegs oh. as if you're gonna ride it. Okay. There you go. You're oh. basically riding a motorcycle. <laughs> you're from Russia. That's yeah. not every day you have an IndyCar driver from Russia. No, actually, I'm the first one. Yeah. Yeah. So what made you come to IndyCar? Well, I think it's a great series. Yeah. You know, it's. Uh, it's the fastest uh, race cars in the world, you know, yeah. with open wheels. It's pretty dangerous, it's pretty cool, there's a lot of crowd, uh, a lot of people like it, so I like it as well. Connor, I had to come over here to see you on your bike because you look really good on it. Oh, thank you. Well, this is a dream of mine to have one of these scooters. This is actually a really big, crucial part of being an IndyCar driver. I always w grew up watching IndyCar, and everyone had a little Mini Cup scooter. <laughs> and so now that I have one, I, I'm rarely off of it, so I love it. <laughs> you brought me a bottle of wine. Yes. <laughs> it's not just any wine. This is very special. Very special. And it's special to Long Beach. Please Absolutely. explain. Yeah. I mean, this is my first TS wine. And you can see it is Long Beach edition. So basically, celebrate and memorable, you know, 2013, my first win in Long Beach. <laughs> Thank you. And you have a beer named after you. How did that happen? That's amazing. Uh, well, as you know, I'm Canadian. Yes. And so we start drinking beer about the age of five. 
<laughs> so we're pretty well versed in, you know, barley sandwiches, as we call them when we're kids. Um, and there's a craft brewery in Indianapolis called Flat 12, and I met the owner, and we kind of started coming up with the idea of, it was like a joke at first almost, to do a, do a beer for the month of May for the Indy 500. Yeah. And we did a Twitter contest to name it, and so one of my fans came up with the name Hinchtown Hammerdown, and we loved it. While you're not on a track, you're actually go-karting recently, I've noticed. You've been well, go-karting No, I go-karted once or twice. I get out of rooms in my free time. Yes, you're loving escape rooms these I've days. I've done 23. What's, what's with the obsession with the escape rooms? Talk about it. Well, I did one in Vegas with Tony and Scott, and it was so bad that like it became an obsession to get excellent at them, and yeah. now I get out of rooms. So it's like I'm an escape room... I'm known. I'm an escape room artist known for one other thing. So, fresh off of practice, right now. I am. Yeah, absolutely. We're here. We just finished our final practice session of the weekend. Um, next is qualifying. So that's the session that really counts. Qualifying is where we sets the grid for tomorrow's race. So we'll all be trying our hardest uh, later on this afternoon. You have an actual animal, a dog, as a sponsor. I do. Yeah. Um, Loki the wolf dog is uh, pretty popular on Instagram. He's got you know a million and a half followers or something like that. It's just kind of a unique promoting, you know, cross promotion kind of deal that we did, and you know it's a good way for him to get exposure and a good way for us to get exposure as well. So you are the owner of Loki the dog, who's not just a dog, but is Spencer Piggott and Rising Stars sponsor. How did this come about? Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> First of all, I think he's kind of my owner, but. Uh, but basically, uh, we have a relationship with Rising Star, and they approached us about, hey, would you come on board and kind of uh, uh, showcase the event from our, our channels? And we have a pretty big reach, like on Instagram and Facebook and things like that. He's against my left leg. We're bonding. I love you. Oh, oh see, I went too far. I went too far with the word love. Okay. It is so good to see you again, and you Thank are you. so special that we came to you instead of you coming to our set. Well, I really, really appreciate that, because our lifestyle's a little busy, so <laughs> but, uh, it makes a world of a difference. It's great to have you out here again. Thank you. Now, why are you so busy? You've got, like, a lot of fans back there. <laughs> yeah, we, well, this is a lot of what we do, you know? Yeah. I mean, everybody thinks a race car driver sitting in there and going fast is, is the job, and it is. Yeah. But, you know, we have a lot of sponsors here, a lot of uh, family, friends, um, you know, mostly sponsors that we have to, you know, do a lot of meet and greets and stuff with. So this is a big one. Now, your dad, former Indy 500 winner, David Letterman, one of the other owners of this yeah. amazing team. How's retirement treating him? I would say, I would think good, but he did tell me last year that he's getting bored. Wait, so, stop, stop. David Letterman told you he's getting bored. He's getting bored. bored. Everything we need to run the cars, replace things on the car, repair them, work on them, are in these six trucks. Are you cool with being the poster child for type 1 diabetes and race car driving? Because the combination usually doesn't mix. I, I've really enjoyed the ambassador aspect yeah. of having diabetes and being the first licensed driver with diabetes to race in the Indy 500 yeah. and, and the first driver with diabetes to win an IndyCar race. Yeah. Those those stories to me have, have opened a lot of doors to hear other people's stories. My teammate Max Childen hanging out in here. I uh, know Max. E epitome of the taking a break. It's, uh, it's I interviewed a Max and his lovely girlfriend fiance Now last fiance, year. yep. Chloe. Obviously, we got a place to hang out, look over some data, eat, um, you know, hang up suits. All of our our fire suits, our Nomex, um, are in these closets. So, like, like I said, everything we need for a race. If we that was yours, I'd off. put it on right now. Well, it's. I mean, Max wore it this morning, so oh. it's. I mean, it. Yeah. I. Well, I'm just. It smells fresh. It's pretty fresh. Yeah. You it know, doesn't smell bad. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, that, it actually I, you, doesn't smell bad. You are much braver than I as far as getting that close with your nose to a used fire suit. Uh, listen, I, I wouldn't recommend doing that tomorrow afternoon post race. And smell so, it. it's not bad. It I'm going to take Max, your word it for it. It actually, true story, does not smell. I know. I'm just a good smelling guy. We're basically making a dance. This is happening. Okay. It's happening at the Grand Prix. 
Alright, so ready? So, which way first? Okay, so one, ba, two, ba, ba. 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 ba